Revolutionizing medicine production with continuous flow chemistry. Modern drugs depend on safe, efficient and sustainable chemical manufacturing processes. However, traditional batch synthesis methods often involve hazardous intermediates and complex steps are vulnerable to global supply chain disruption and pose risks to workers and the environment. To address this, Dr. Patrick O'Neill of Pfizer Ireland and Professor Ji Wu from the National University of Singapore, alongside their teams, have pioneered a revolutionary method to synthesize 1,2,3-triazole, a key compound used to manufacture the vital antibiotic Tazobactam. Tazobactam plays a critical role in treating drug-resistant infections. However, production has relied on batch processes, which involve inefficiencies and safety risks. These researchers sought to create a safer, more reliable and environmentally friendly process. Their solution was to shift to continuous flow chemistry, a method where reactants are continuously fed through connected reactors in a controlled manner. Unlike batch systems that handle large quantities of hazardous materials, continuous flow systems reduce the volume of reactive compounds, significantly enhancing safety. Using glyoxyl and hydrazine, both inexpensive and readily available, as starting materials, the researchers developed a three-step synthesis. They used water as a solvent, not only for environmental benefits, but also to reduce risks of thermal runaway reactions. The first step of their process involves converting glyoxyl and hydrazine into an intermediate called glyoxyl bishydrazone. By carefully optimizing reaction conditions, including temperature and flow, they achieved high yields while avoiding common issues like blockages. The second step, transforming glyoxyl bishydrazone into 1-amino 1,2,3-triazole, generates significant heat. The team initially explored tungsten oxide as a catalyst, but later settled on sodium tungstate dihydrate, a water-soluble and cost-effective alternative, allowed the reaction to proceed more smoothly while maintaining high efficiency and safety. Finally, 1-amino-1,2,3-triazole was converted into 1,2,3-triazole. Here, the team overcame the challenge of solid byproducts blocking reactor tubing by fine-tuning the reaction sequence and concentrations. They also added an inline purification system, ensuring high purity. The results of this work are transformative. The new method eliminates hazardous intermediates, dramatically enhances process safety and reduces the time and resources needed. Moreover, by using water as a solvent, the team minimized environmental impact. This innovation ensures a stable and reliable supply of 1,2,3-triazole for global pharmaceutical production and strengthens the resilience of critical drug supply chains. This study also highlights the broader potential of continuous flow chemistry to transform chemical manufacturing. Its principles can be applied to other processes paving the way for safer, more sustainable and scalable production.